tough one for us tonight. Um, you know, pockets of good things throughout the game. Uh, credit to Charlotte. You know, they came in, played a great physical style of basketball, really challenged us on uh, both ends of the floor. Uh, you know, they got out to a, we got out to a lead, then they took the lead back, and we were kind of playing catch up. But I loved how we started in the third quarter. Um, you know, with our offensive pace and really trying to push it and creating great looks for us. But, you know, defensively, you know, giving up 28, 30, 32, and 30 is just, you know, not our standard. So fourth quarter definitely got away from us. I think they, you know, hit four or five threes to start off the possession, uh, foul a three-point shooter, some breakdowns, mental lapses. So a uh, great opportunity for us to come back. You know, this was a great learning experience for us and for our guys to come back tomorrow, watch them film and try to get better. And, you know, everyone's head's being up and trying to just learn from this and grow. How much did you learn about Brandon Clark tonight with that performance? A lot. I mean, he continues to do a lot of the same stuff he's been, you know, doing all summer and early in the season. Just, um, you know, obviously he's a super athletic player, but beyond that, he's an unbelievable team player. You know, team defense, uh, going in there, throwing his body and trying to get rebounds, running the floor. Um, you know, he just plays a great team style. You know, facilitates the offense with the ball in his hands, puts a lot of pressure on the defense with rolling. Uh, so I'm, I'm extremely impressed with where Brandon's at. And, you know, over time, the more that he grows and learns his comfortability at the three-point line and, you know, nuances of the defense, um, you know, I think he's going to be a special player. Kind of seems like all the shooting guards are playing better off the uh, bench, but have we able to get any more clarity tonight as far as what you want to do with that come opening night? Uh, it's still learning. I mean, I thought, um, you know, Dylan had a great game, you know, really played within himself, obviously made some shots, made the right plays. Um, you know, Grayson, you know, not one of his nights like the first two, but, you know, he's, he's been pretty consistent. I loved how he competed defensively. So luckily we have two more games ahead so I can gather more information and, you um, you know, to see even Marco out there and Jay out there and, you know, Kyle even maybe playing the three at different points, you know, I'll, I'll have some decisions to make. Uh, Coach, um, of course, team first time up against other NBA competition. Uh, how much of, like, the unforced errors was just they're playing a different level of competition now than they were before? I think a little bit of both. Um, you know, as I said, credit to Charlotte. I thought, you know, with their blitzing defense and, you know, the pressure that they put us on the ball or put onto us on the ball, uh, made it hard for our handlers. Um, I thought it was a combination of their defense. And then for us, as I said, I mean, there were moments where we were getting the ball out and getting great looks at the rim and spraying out for threes that we just weren't making. Um, but then I also thought there was times we were maybe a little careless with the ball and lazy and um, not playing within our offense. So as I said, it's going to be great to go back and watch the film and see the pockets where we did really good things um, and how when we do face a defense that, you know, you know applies that pressure and, you know, shows us those coverages, how we got to attack it. Taylor, what was your evaluation of, of Jaron's performance tonight? He fouls out, which is, which is an issue, of course, that he had uh, last year and, and a couple of maybe defensive lapses uh, here and there. So. Yeah. No, I mean, I think, um, you know, Jaron's going to, you know, own this uh, big time. You know, I know he was feeling it after the game. Um, you know, a lot of individual film with him tomorrow. So it's going to be great. You know, another learning opportunity for him. He knows he's got to work on the fouling. We've been showing him. Though sometimes he's cut in a tough spot trying to cover for a teammate, but how he can be a little bit more disciplined, uh, but how the onus can be on him in other situations to, uh, you know, avoid some of those foul situations. Um, you know, so, you know, opportunity for him to grow. So I'm excited to, you know, watch the film with him, watch it for a team, um, and, you know, try to get better. How much of what that what happens from that is the result of him playing at the five and without a true big next to him? Uh, I wouldn't say it's anything like that. I mean, I think whether he's the four or the five, you know, some of the, you know, fouls that he got or maybe a blown mistake, you know, it's the same accountability whether you're the four or five in my mind. Ja had some incredible drives and finishes. He also had some times where he seemed to drive into traffic and kind of get caught in the air. You've said you want him to be aggressive, but what's your conversation with him about, you know, kind of where, where that line is? Don't stop. And um, when you get into those tight situations, you know, find the moments to score and find the moments to kick out. So. Um, we got We need him to get to the paint. We need him to collapse the defense. Um, we need him to score in those situations. Um, he has shown at other times where he's been able to draw defenders, get in the paint, kick out for threes. Um, so it's just, I think, an ongoing learning process with him where I don't want him to stop and take his foot off the gas pedal. Uh, is, is forcing it, I mean, as a rookie in the NBA, is that, that just part of what you got? You got yeah, I think so. I mean, for me, I'd rather scale a guy back a little bit. So, you know, with the mentality, if I need him to attack, especially through the 45 aggressively, you know, he's so gifted at finding seams and getting inside the defense. Um, you know, I don't want to take that away from him. So, 
know, it's the first layer when to attack, you know, before the three-point line, then ultimately when he gets inside the three-point line is a score or a kick. So it's an ongoing just trying to find the right balance, but I'd rather him be thinking about I got to go through a brick wall. And then over time, as he discovers that brick wall's there, what he's got to do, you know, trust the pass, ball comes back, uh, everything he's capable of doing. It's just going to take some time. Last question, Lamar. Uh, last week, of course, Solomon Hill and Bruno, uh, you know, were pretty high in the rotation. Tonight, you went with Plum Lee and Rab. Uh, was that just you just wanting to, you know, get extended time with them to figure out where they fit? And then what did you also see from Rob and Rab tonight? Yeah, I definitely, you know, this ongoing process, you know, in preseason, I wanted to see different guys. Um, obviously, you know, getting Kyle back into the rotation a little bit more. And, you know, seeing Ivan, seeing Miles, and, you know, I talked to Solo and Bruno and told them that they probably weren't playing tonight and be ready to go for the next game. But you never know in these games. They, I could have thrown them in. So super professional there. Uh, I thought Ivan brought a lot of juice. Um, you know, compete defensively, getting rebounds, um, you know, like all of our bigs still trying to figure out our center field defense. Uh, offensively, you know, rolling, paint finishes, kicking out. Um, I thought overall he had a really good game. I just really liked his motor, you know, how hard he played. And, you know, these were, you know, extended minutes for him, and I was really pleased. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone.